Continuous compounding is another type of interest um, that we are going to take a look at. And with continuous compounding, we think about the compounding that we did with the general compounding formula. And when we looked at monthly, we got a um, pretty good rate of return. If we looked more frequently, like say weekly or daily, we'll get a little bit more interest every time. And so mathematicians and other people, of course, are wondering what's the best you can do. And if you compound at every instant, will you get a better return than what you have with the say monthly or weekly compounding. And so we'll take a look at that concept and see what we think. So continuous compounding is, um, this provides a formula to calculate the maximum amount of interest that could be earned for a compounded account. And what we have is a formula that says A equals, we've looked at the A before, PV times E to the RT. So let's talk about each of those pieces. The A is that ending amount that we've used before. And the PV stands for the present value, um, which is also the starting amount. The E is a constant of exponential growth. Remember that growth that we looked at with the um, compound interest in Excel, how we looked at that graph and it went up really sharply. That's exponential and that's what this constant helps us achieve with our, with our continuous compounding formula. So this is the constant for exponential growth. And if we look at that on our calculator, which we'll do here, it is, it can be found right there. It looks like e to the x. And if we want to see the value of e, then we can look at e to the first, just like two to the first is two, e to the first will give you the value for e. So we can check it out that way. On this calculator, I do the second key and then this ln button, which is the natural log. So we'll push that and we should have e to the, and then we'll just give it the exponent of a one so that we can find out the value of E. And there you can see the value of E is 2.71828 and it goes on. E is just like pi, it's an irrational number, which means that it has decimal places that continue indefinitely and we've never found an end for them and that the, the digits never repeat. So an approximation for E is going to be 2.718 and it goes on and you can find it on your calculator by doing e to the first. R, for the same formula, still R is going to be our rate as a decimal, just like always, and our T is going to be time in years.